Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. Port of Kingston, Jamaica. 64 toolies were intercepted at the wharf. Greetings, greetings, and salutations yeah, to all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's your favorite Jamaican. Thank you for tuning in to the Roots TV. It's Rastafari right soldier. Hit that red subscribe button. Become a part of the Rastaman channel. 64 tools. And when me say tool, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not talking about no screwdrivers were intercepted at the Port of Kingston, a joint ongoing operation involving Jamaican Constable Force, counter-terrorism and organization crime band and the Jamaican Custody Agency has resulted in the interception of a significant cache of illegal firearms and ammunition at the Port of Kingston. The ongoing operation which began at 8 a.m. on Friday has resulted in the seizure of 64 assorted 9mm pistol, 965 rounds of 9mm ammunition, and 107 magazine. The contraband were discovered concealed within a shipment which originated from the United States. Two individuals has been taken into custody as a result of the operation, marking what the police have described as a significant stride in effort the Jamaican law enforcement agents to combat illegal firearm trafficking. Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of the force criticized the United States citizen and the diaspora for the proliferation of these firearms as Fitz Bailey has emphasized that the importance of collaboration and the interdependence among law enforcement agents, this reinforced the importance of collaboration and interdependence and that it is what we have been doing as a group of law enforcement agency. We are getting better at collaboration and I want to express gratitude for the level of support that we are getting from the Jamaican custom doing our investigation, especially into firearm trafficking, state Bailey in a release. And I do have the press release right here. I'm going to let you hear what the Jamaican Constable Force leader, Officer Bailey, Fitz Bailey, is saying. And then we're going to continue with the article. During our joint operation, between Jamaica Custom and the Jamaica Constabulary Force, in particular, the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, the Firearm Trafficking Unit, a total of 64 assorted 9mm pistols were intercepted, and along with 965 9mm rounds and 107 magazine. The interception took place at the port of Kingston. This operation started earlier on this morning, somewhere about 8 o'clock, and it is still ongoing. This reinforces the importance of collaboration and interdependency, and that's what we have been doing as a group of law enforcement agencies. We are getting better of, at our collaboration, and I want to express our gratitude to the level of support that we are getting from the Jamaica Custom during our investigations into especially tra firearm trafficking. There are two persons that have been taken into custody so far, and I want to say that the firearms actually came from the United States of America. And oftentimes we hear about the problem of violence, especially gun violence and murder in Jamaica. And I want to make an appeal to the Jamaican citizens who actually are creating the significant problem that we have in Jamaica. They are the ones who are sending the firearm, and I am appealing to the diaspora to sort of engage the citizen and encourage them to desist from this type of destructive activity that is actually preventing them from coming to Jamaica to enjoy the, the paradise that we have. 
as you as you see when them say a trailer load a, as you say when them say a trailer load a come off then you know say a whole heap a totally come off the police said successful joint operation underscored the commitment of the jcf and the jaca to maintain the safety and security of the nation further investigation into the origin of the destination of the illicit firearm were underway and authorities continued their effort to combat transnational crime meanwhile bailey appealed to jamaica to the diaspora in the countries abroad to stop contributing to the violence by sending weapons in the war in highlighting the negative impact of the flow of illegal weapons from the United States to Jamaica, Bailey said, we are here about the problem of gun violence in Jamaica, and I want to make an appeal to the Jamaican citizens who actually are creating this significant problem that we are having. I'm appealing to the diaspora to engage the citizens to encourage them to decease from the type of destructive activity that is preventing them from coming home to Jamaica to enjoy the paradise that we have here. And I second that. Ladies and gentlemen, leave your comment. Let us know what we could do to make Jamaica safe again. A trailer load of gun just come out of the wharf. 64 Thule, 900 and plus assorted rounds. And how much magazine? Seem like they're supplying a army. Subscribe, like, and share to the Rastaman channel. Let me know what we could do to make Jamaica safe again. I'm Rastafari, so of Deep Roots TV. More life, more joy, more happiness. Deep Roots TV, tap in. Deep Roots TV, you already know what it is. Yes. Big up Deep Roots TV every time.